new Linux distributions for 2023. Number 1. Vanilla OS One of the Linux distributions on my list is Vanilla OS, a quite promising and ambitious project that you should know about. This distro is based on Ubuntu, but it is immutable. That is, most of its file system is read-only and updates do not override the file system. This way, if something goes wrong with the update, it can be downloaded and automatically reverted to the original version. So you always have a stable operating system. However, the partition structure for this to be possible is quite complex. Another notable aspect of Vanilla OS is that integrates DistroBox. This is a tool that allows you to create containers of Linux distributions within others. That is, as if you had Windows WSL but in your Vanilla OS distro. That way, you can install and run apps natively on any other distro you want without leaving Vanilla OS as a base system. It is also important to say that Vanilla OS is a distro with a own package manager called APX and that it, it is compatible with the three universal package systems Snap, Flatpak and AppImage. So the number of apps available for this distribution is quite large and all of that is a pure GNOME environment without the custom changes and plugins that Ubuntu adds. So it's more like the Fedora experience. Number 2. Nobara Project Next on the list of my young distros is Nobara Project. This project has been released in 2023 and is a modified version of Fedora with some modifications to make it more user friendly. Of course it is not an official spin or flavor of Fedora, but a totally independent project. In addition, it has three editions, GNOME Custom Made, GNOME Standard and KDE Plasma. To make things a lot easier for this Fedora, everything has been done so that the user just have to click and enjoy a very easy experience. That is, the user they don't have to open the terminal and work in text mode for almost nothing. Of course, it has also made it easier to install additional packages such as Steam, Lutris, Wine, OBS Studio, Multimedia Codecs, Official GPU Drawers, etc. As well as enable repository such as RPGM Fusion and FlatHub by default. Number 3. Resi OS It is an another of the relatively young distributions and also based on Fedora. In this case, he was born in the American Pacific Northwest specifically in Seattle. This operating system is able to offer the latest cutting edge features without breaking anything during release cycles like other distros. So you can expect a system with the latest but very stable. On the other hand, Rezi OS also inherits from Fedora some of its features such as being based on the Wayland graphical server for a more modern environment, the BTRFS file system or the famous Pipewire project among many other interesting features. And of course, as a desktop environment, it keeps GNOME as in its parent distro. Number 4. Commander Linux Commander Linux is a distro that pays homage to the old Commodore computers. However, they have also looked for a touch of inspiration in the Microsoft Windows 7 operating system. In fact, when you take a first look at the desktop environment of this distro, you may think that you are in the Redmond system, although it is not. So the objective set by its developer is to offer a very easy to use environment for those people coming from Windows, so they don't get lost in the early going in the Linux world. In addition to this, another of the objectives is to bring back the colorful icons and beautiful wallpapers. On a technical level, this distro is based on Debian. So you can expect a robust and a stable environment. In addition to opting for the XFC desktop environment modified to offer a lightweight system that can be installed on computers with fewer resources or laptop. On the other hand, this distro should appear throughout this year in its final version. Since for now, only a release candidate one is available. Number 5. Exodia OS In 2022, another of the distributions based on Arch Linux was launched. In this case, its name is Exodia OS. Unlike other projects derived from Arch that do not bring much new. In this case, we do have a great news, such as an ultralight desktop environment based on BSP WM Window Manager and EWW Widget. In addition, it is focused on cybersecurity experts, offering a good number of applications for them 
to perform pen testing. Also, it is extremely customizable. Your default shell is ZSH instead of being bash as in most distributions. And if that's not enough for you, it also includes the Microsoft PowerShell shell pre-installed. And as an additional curiosity, note that it offers a specific version for Acer Predator series laptops. Number 6. Zero Linux Last but not least, we also have the distribution Zero Linux. This distro is developed in Lebanon and is based on Arch Linux. It is created with the Arco Linux ALCI scripts. It also has built-in support for AUR repositories and also for Flatpak packages. Some of its features include its KDE Plasma desktop environment, Calamaris installer, XFS file system, Pamac GUI storefront, Dolphin file manager, console as a terminal, and the System76 power management tool. To all this, we must add the Zero Linux also comes with quite striking custom themes for the desktop environment and even custom themes for group. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.